So this is how this goes? <laughs> I guess so. My, uh, my dad used to say to me all the time, uh, the truth is what you believe it is. I don't believe that this is my truth. I, I feel trapped, like, I don't know how I could do the things you're gonna find inside my mind. It's like an out-of-body experience. I know I was found guilty of a crime. And I've seen it in my mind. It felt like I had to commit it. I had no choice. But why? There's... There's this narrative that goes around in my mind that uh, I was abused and nothing was going to stop him. I was never good enough. I can't escape that narrative. It's like my brain and my heart are just disconnected. I, I killed a man. I waited until he was passed out and I killed him. I took a steak knife and stabbed him 37 times. Sometimes it was the same spot. Sometimes it was a different spot. I didn't need to stab him so many times. I'm sure he was dead before I stopped. I, just... I couldn't stop. He never opened his eyes. He never fought back. Not one time did his eyes open. I expected them to, but his eyes just stayed closed. Like, like he knew it was coming or he didn't care. That's what I kept thinking, but uh, <laughs> in reality, he was probably just too drunk. He, he kept breathing, then he started to cough, but uh, he never opened his eyes. Blood appeared from the stab marks and, and then from the corners of his mouth and at no point did it feel good. It never felt satisfying to stab him despite what he put me through. When he let out his final breath, in the midst of this wave of relief, I, I found myself sitting in a pool of regret. There wasn't really any relief at all, because he still haunts me. All of it haunts me to this day. Why didn't he open his eyes? <laughs>